All right, Julius and Pilo, welcome. Uh, congrats on the film. It's an amazing, great time. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of fun. Uh, very gory as well. And, and personally speaking, my gore threshold is pretty low. I, I go weak at the side of a skin knee. What's, what's your uh, personal <laughs> gore threshold like? You look a little pale. Yeah, I, exactly. I, I, you just saw the film, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, this, this, horror fan, this is the, I'm selling it right now. <laughs> I'm selling the fear factor. Uh, but I love your beard. Thank That's you. amazing. Thank you. We'll, we'll share tips after. We're all sporting. Do you, you know. use the oils? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Oils are very essential to, for, for softness. Blow dry? Blow dry? No. Yeah. You? No, I just got a blow dry today. I've never done that before. <laughs> And uh, I, I, showed, I, showed, I showed my wife, uh, yeah. uh, and she's like, ooh, that, the beard's looking, uh, uh, looking... Did you blow dry? And I said, uh, yeah. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. I, did. What do you, what maybe do you I did. What do you think? It's looking super neat. Yeah. Like, maybe blow drying's the secret. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like borderline homeless guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, my, my elderly neighbour told me off yesterday. She's, she's very abrupt. She's in her 80s, and she goes, you need to cut your beard. You look like, what's that... Old man at the Christmas time, and I went, Santa. Santa! <laughs> and I went, thanks, thanks for the tip. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I, this is, I love this. This is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry, back to the... Yeah, back to the film. We yes. need to talk about the film. Yes. So, uh, gore, gore, how do you guys go with gore? gore? Have you got a high threshold for, I have for, a the, for very, the blood? I have a very low threshold for gore. Oh. Uh, and uh, so, um, I, you know, Pilu is the best guy in the world. He's, he's, he's very lovely. Um, but when he came onto set with the um, with the uh, prosthetics, which was all in camera, we uh, uh, I was terrified. <laughs> and and, uh, and I think I think the other actors uh, kind of uh, also had the same response. I mean, it's it's lovely Pilu in, in between takes, but you know um, that that, that was, yeah. Just... No, but I love the best thing is when you came. You were like, oh wait, blood. <laughs> and a scissor, and then Julius just started like you know because it was so massive. He, yeah. he started being like a true director. He wanted yeah. that detail right. of perfection. So he was sitting and cutting and then putting blood, adding all weird shit on my face. Yeah. And then he was like, "Now I'm happy." <laughs> <laughs> you're a little bit more okay with gore than I think you're letting on, Julius. Uh, yeah, I mean it's it. I, I guess like I my my gore. Uh, threshold is um, is low when I'm watching a movie. I, I kind right. of have to look away myself when I'm watching my own movie. <laughs> 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 uh, but you, when you're on set, you you know that um, that the blood is made out of. Uh, it smells sweet. It's made out of uh, oh, sugar, sugar and stuff. Like, and like, so you, like you, flowers. So I, it's, you, you get drawn in like a bee, like a, yeah. a honey. <laughs> 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 but it, I rem uh, honestly, I have two older brothers that are ten and eight years older than I am. Uh, yep. So back in the 80s when they made real horror films mm. and 70s, they thought it was funny when I was around six, seven years old to show me these horror films with oh. blood and zombies and super heap and blah, 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 all that kind of evil people. Mm. And, and it kind of fucked me up for like years and years and years. Right. So I'm, I'm not a big fan of it, but I must admit, I like making those films. Right. So this is a form of therapy for you. It's like you, you, you're facing your demons. Yeah, I am. Yeah, by rather than looking at the scary people, you are one. It's but that's good, man. Yeah, that's method therapy. <laughs> did did you scare, did you catch your reflection in, in, like in, in the mirror or something and kind of and like you know scare yourself? No, I do that every day. <laughs> 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 no, I don't need a I don't need prosthetics. Well, maybe you just need to blow scared. dry your beard and then you'll be okay. A what? Blow dry your beard. Yeah, I'm I'm going to do that tomorrow. Yeah, and I'm, I'm going to get it. some of that oil. It's going to give it but a it, shot. But it was for me the film was just like. Why did we, you know, it's, it, for me it was just not a horror film. Mm. This was, I wanted to work with Julius, we made a year in advance, he had some great takes on this universe, and, and for me it's so much more. I know the first thing you want to say, but this is like Second World War and, and horror and monsters and all that. For me it's also like a, you know, there's some, I don't want to say there's political statements, but there's some pretty, pretty hardcore scenes in the film that mm. we can discuss for hours. Yes, absolutely there is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And did you have fun playing Wafner? I mean, he's such a, like a hissable bad guy. Um, it's always uh, fun to be the bad guy. You're right. Why, why so? Because you have so much more freedom to do. And especially when you're working with a guy who says, go all in, give everything, mm. and, and I'll catch you. Mm. You know, if something happens, I'll fix it. But I need you to do I need you to work through the cliches because when you work through them, 
I can pick and choose where I need a cliche and where I don't need a cliche. Yep. But you need to do them so I can create my version of a character and my universe. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that helped so much when we did Overlord for, for, for me was the practical. You use practical yeah. in, in everything. You, you can talk about that. But also you created a universe which was so believable. Mm. The village, the lab, the church, everything you thought. We, and the sets were big, you know. Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah, we tried to uh, you, know, um, you know, have a tactile reality, whether it be the um, special effects makeup or you know, um, building a, uh, a set which is, um, has a roof and four walls instead of flyaway walls and stuff. Like it's, it's, uh, it was important for me um, to um, give the actors as much reality as possible because nothing's better than real. Mm. And so, um, you know, uh, I did everything in camera as much as I could. Uh, you know, we have a guy snapping his neck back, for instance, which, you know, could have been done with CGI, but we did it with old school puppetry and, and animatronics and stuff. And mm. it's, it's, it's the texture, it's the tactile reality that, that I think the audience picks up on and they, they get more of a thrill out of it. And, uh, you know, um, we tried to do that with all the action as well. We tried to keep it... Um, uh, in camera and, and uh, you know there's there's nothing better than having um, uh, you know the, sm the smell of sulfur and, and actual loud bangs and flashes mm -hmm. going off um, for real for, for an actor so all our action sequences have all practical um, st um, stunts and, and special effects as much as we can you know mm -hmm. we have we always talked about this movie that the um, the, pr the practical uh, elements would do the heavy lifting and, and, uh, and uh, VFX, CGI would uh, be the backup. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. And it helps. Wearing a mask, you sit five hours in makeup and then you get these prosthetic things on and you go on set and you give everything to your colleagues, but they see it, you yeah. know, that you can't cheat your eyes. So they see this guy. It's not little dots in your face. It's mm. like real fucked up. Yeah. And that gives them the best opportunities to live their best performances as possible. Yeah, and that's what you want as a colleague. 